I was in Domino's Pizza and I went up to this woman, I saw her, you know, she, she obviously had a cane with her and stuff, she's sitting down, an older lady, and I said, hey, could I uh, pray for you? I, I pray for people all the time and, you know, I see God do healings and, and she's kind of, you know, a bit taken back. She says, well, I'm, you know, she's a Christian, I believe in God, and she goes to um, a, a church that necessarily doesn't see that stuff, you know. And so I said, well, uh, I really believe God would like to do a miracle. What's wrong with you? And, and it turns out her knee, her kneecap shattered and she needs surgery. I think the surgery was coming up that month. She needs surgery on, on all her knee to replace a kneecap. And I said, well, um, there's this room in heaven, you know, how about I just reach up into heaven and I put a, a new kneecap in you? You know, and I just sort of said it in, in a bit of faith and stuff because I heard about that room. And so she's like, oh, well, you can pray if you want to. And I said, okay, you know, I definitely want to. <laughs> and I, so I just reached my hand up, you know, again, like, I don't know where I'm putting my hand, but I'm pretty sure God's going to put something in it. And so I just chucked my hand up into heaven and she's kind of looking at me and I'm, I'm on my knees now with her. And I said, Lord, I just ask you to give this woman a brand new kneecap. I just pull one down from heaven. So I just put on a kneecap and, and instantly her face changes and her countenance just, she sort of sits up and instantly God put a brand new kneecap in that woman's knee. And she began to get excited. Obviously, she's been to stand. I get to get her to test everything. You know, I'm kind of grabbing her and walking her around and stuff. It must have looked weird in Domino's, man. But uh, I began to, to go around just walking with her and stuff. And she walks all the way out to the car and she, she follow, I follow her out and she goes out to her car, chucks that, that cane in, um, takes this thing off that she had on her knee and then she's completely healed. And she begins to move her knee with, with total freedom. And obviously her grid for the supernatural, her, her grid for what Jesus can and can't do, even though she's religious, her grid has now changed forever. And I just want to encourage you, you know, this isn't about like you going out at a certain time on the streets or going out at a certain time. This is about living naturally supernatural, that you would be available for God because it's nothing to do with our, our ability. It's all to do with our willingness. We live a naturally supernatural life and God wants you to pour out his kingdom everywhere you go.